show you guys my beauty favorites and I've actually changed a lot of my products and I do have some stuff that I really 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 love and my face loves it as well so I am going to be showing you guys everything I think I'm gonna start with face and then with the makeup stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing that I want to talk about is a face mask and it looks like this. This is by the brand Teeny, and it's called the Detox Mask. It has matcha, lemongrass, and it's a clay mask. So, you guys, this mask is so good because I have used a lot of clay masks and green masks, and supposedly they're supposed to take out everything out, but I just don't see a difference with a lot of the a lot of the clay masks that I use. But this one. I can feel that it's pulling out everything and my skin feels so soft afterwards. So let me show you what it looks like in the inside. It looks like this. I know it looks like I haven't gone through it a lot, but let me tell you why. And the smell of it, it smells like lemongrass. Basically it smells like lemongrass. It smells so good. So what you're supposed to do with this is you apply this when your face is still damp. That's why a little bit goes a long way. And I like to use a brush, and this is the brush that I use. This is just a foundation brush, and this is a MAC foundation brush, which came like in a mini little kit. I had this for so long that I don't even know what number it is because it just worn out, but I just know it's a MAC um, foundation brush. So what you do is you just grab a little bit, like a little bit goes a long way. You just grab a little bit, and you start putting it on your face while your face is still damp, and it's kind of like make it softer and blend all over your face so you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes i usually leave it on when i see that it's already dry because it does dry out so once it dries i just go wash it and that's about it i just apply the rest of my face oils and mask and everything so i use this one two to three times a week i've been lacking myself so i have been using it around two times a week but yes this stuff is really good you guys and i do have um a coupon code if you guys want to use it if you don't want to use it and you don't want to save money then you don't have to but if you want to save some money you can use my code and let me just tell you guys this um i am not promoting this brand just because i have a coupon code i really do like their products and I also like the other stuff that I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to talk about this towards the end. So just because I have a coupon code with them does not, mean that, does not mean that I'm saying that I like this just because of that. I really do enjoy their products and they have been working for me. So, so yeah. So moving on, I have a, another mask and oh my God, you guys, let me tell you about this mask. First of all, let me show it to you guys. This is by the brand Freeman. It looks like this and it's called the Hydrating Cactus and Cloudberry Water Gel Mask. I have never heard of a water gel mask. I mean, I don't know where I've been, but I have not heard of, heard of a water gel mask until I saw this on the Ulta website. Well, on the app because I have the app. Um, I saw this and I'm like, ooh, a water gel mask. I wonder what that is. So sure enough, it was out of stock and ever since I went and ever since I saw it, it's been out of stock. So one time I just was browsing and I found it and it's in stock and I checked yesterday and it's still in stock. So I got it and oh my god, let me tell you guys, this mask does wonders. This mask is so hydrated. It does what it says. This is it's hydrating and it does what it says. So let me show you guys what it looks like right here. It just looks like this. And then you massage it and it's like water so this is a leave-on mask if you want to rinse it you can but if you just want to leave it on um, for the night you can I don't leave it on for the night because then I feel like my sheets are gonna get dirty even though it does dry but it stays a little bit sticky I don't leave it on at night but I do leave it on for like 30 to like 40 minutes like before I'm gonna go to bed I just wash it off so this stuff makes your skin feel like a baby's butt. It is so soft and moisturizing. And let me tell you something. I like 
matte foundations but sometimes when my face is dry and i use them you can see like little patches where my face is dry i have really been enjoying um a foundation that i've been using which i'm going to show you in a little bit and it is a matte foundation and with this one it doesn't even look it looks matte because it's matte but it doesn't look dry it doesn't look patchy it doesn't look like cakey it doesn't do any of that and i have been wearing this basically every single day if i miss one day it's because i'm being lazy but i do wear this every single day and it had really really changed my skin and it feels so soft so i really enjoy this and it is so affordable i believe it's like four dollars and some cents so it is very affordable so i have really been liking this mask Another thing, when we take care of our face, when we do our skincare, we forget about our lips. At least I do. I used to use this all the time before, but then, I don't know, I mean, I just got lazy. I forgot to use it, so I just never used it. But recently, I picked it up again, and I've been using it. So, this is the By Beauty Agave Lip Mask, which looks like this. And this is the pink one. I know they have, like, a couple of colors, which are, I think, clear, a lavender... The pink one and I know there's something else I can't remember so this I'm already like one fourth done because I've been using this every night so after I apply all my moisturizers oils and everything to my face I apply this to my lips and I sleep with it and the next day I still wake up with it and my lips feel so soft Especially if you wear a lot of uh, liquid lipsticks, your lips tend to get a little bit dry, flaky, you start pulling off the little skin around your lips. Well, this one helped me a lot because I used to get a lot of those little skins and I would be pulling them and those really hurt because if you pull them, I would bleed. So ever since I started using this, my lips are so soft and my liquid lipsticks look smooth and they don't look flaky or anything. So I have really been liking this one as well. Moving on, I want to talk about a hair product. I've had comments ask me what I do to my hair. They told me my hair looks very shiny and it does not look damaged, even though I do dye it. Um, but I maybe I'll maybe I'll do a video on talking about my hair stuff. I really don't do much to my hair, but one thing that I've been liking, and I've used this for a while, is just that they changed their like their scent. So this is the Garnier Fructis uh, Pure Clean Detangler and Air Dry and it has a low extract. It's silicone free, paraben free and it has, and it's a vegan formula. So this is an air dry without tangles or frizz and it does work. As you guys can see, I'm almost out but I do have a new one because I do use this one every day. I do wash my hair basically every single day. If I don't wash it one day, it's because I have it straight and I don't want to strain it the next day again but usually I do wash my hair every single day if I don't I start getting like itchy so this is what it is I just spray this after I shower with my damp hair I just spray it all over I brush it and I just let it air dry and it does take away the frizz and it doesn't sometimes hair can be weird and it'll just like frizz up like not frizz up but you know what I mean but this one helps a lot because it also detangles and my hair gets so tangled and I apply this and I brush my hair and it's fine so I have really been liking this one and it smells good as well another thing that I want to show you is a perfume I used to use this perfume a lot but then I finished it and I just never purchased it but during Christmas my mom bought it for me and she knows it's my favorite perfume and it is the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume. This is her per this is her first perfume that she came out with and the smell you guys it is so good. Like let me just spray some right now. The smell is so good. It's not a scent that gives you a headache, you know, like an I don't want to say this, but a lot of people call it an old lady scent. Um sometimes those are too strong and they give me headaches but this is smell this smells so fruity it smells light and it lasts all day long and i just been liking it and ever since my mom got it i have been using it i'm already up to like right here and this has this is the 1.7 fluid ounces so it's not even the big one so yeah i have really been liking this perfume a lot too okay now moving on to makeup which is the fun part so i'm gonna start okay i'm gonna start the way i apply my makeup i guess so the first thing that i want to talk about is this smashbox photo 
finish primerizer. It's a primer and a moisturizer. I like this because it has a moisturizer and a primer in one, as you guys know, because I just said it's a primerizer. Um, I like this because I apply this and my skin feels so soft and moisturized. I don't use this every single time I do my makeup, but I do use it when I feel that my face is a little bit dry. So I do use this and I feel like it moisturizes and primes my face at the same time. I have the mini size because I just wanted to try it. It came out like in a little trial thing. But I'm already more than halfway done and I do want to buy the full size because I really like it. And my skin reacts so good to it. My foundation stays on all day and it looks smooth. It doesn't do any weird stuff. I don't get smile lines like the cracks right here. I don't get like around my nose. So i really been liking this um, primer a lot. Another primer that I've been loving and this I just recently started using. I want to say like maybe two weeks ago I want to say. This is the Morphe Revitalizer um, Primer. It looks like this. It is a little bit tiny, but I really like it. Let me show you what it looks like. It just looks like this. And it kind of feels like velvety. It doesn't feel sit like silicone. It feels velvety, and it is so moisturizing. So if you have dry um, skin, this is really good because it's going to help with your dryness. And, and once again, my foundation does not do anything weird. And it doesn't crack up. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look patchy. So I have really been liking this one as well. And this is... I actually am wearing this right now because I use this when my... I use this on my everyday makeup look. So I have really been liking this one. And then for foundation, it's also by Morphe. And it's the new Morphe foundation. You guys, I love this foundation. Even though it's a super full coverage and matte foundation like I said with that face mask that I'm using this does not look super super matte like cakey matte and I have really been liking this and I do mix this with the Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation it's what I'm wearing right now I will be uploading a tutorial on how I did this this is my everyday makeup look so I really like this it doesn't do anything weird to my face you don't see any patchiness or anything I did apply it once when my face was not moisturized or anything and it looks full coverage it looks patchy it looks weird so so if you have dry skin you may not like this because it is full coverage and you can see it like you can see the foundation but if you use that mask that I show you I'm pretty sure you'll be fine and make sure you're really moisturized and exfoliate before you use this because because you will see like the full coverage and matte of the foundation but I have really been liking it and yeah I've been using this um quite a lot Moving on to concealer, I it's also by Morphe. I know it, Morphe, 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 but they came out with all this and it is just so good. So this is the Morphe concealer. I used to use the Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting foundation, multi sculpting concealer. This was my all time favorite. I even changed it for the shape tape. But ever since Morphe came out with this one, which I mean, come on, compare the sizes. This is way smaller, but. It is full coverage, first of all, but it is not cakey and it is not that thick. Like, it is full coverage, but it is so smooth and it blends so nice. I am wearing it right now as well because it has been my favorite. And I have really been liking this concealer a lot. Next is my powder. This is the Too Faced Ethereal Powder. It looks like this. I really like this because lately I had noticed with the Laura Mercier it was leaving kind of like weird stuff around my eye and I was not liking it and this one doesn't do that. This is what it looks like on the inside. It did have like a little cap right here to protect like the sifting but I took it off because it was just too hard to get some of the product out so I just ripped that thing apart. And I really like it because it leaves my skin smooth. It, once again, does not look cakey. It does not have flashback. So I have really been enjoying this one. And once again, I am wearing it. So yeah, I have really been liking this. Moving on, I want to talk about, uh, about a liquid eyeliner. I used to use a lot the NYC liquid liner that is so affordable and used to be like my go-to. I would always use it. But then I got this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner, which looks like this. I like this especially because of the felt tip, which looks like this right here. It's just like a little felt tip. And the other one is kind of like a little brush. So this one is so easy to do like a wing liner. I don't have any right now. 
but it is so easy to do a wing liner and it does dry matte and let me just show you guys it is super super extremely black so I have really been liking that one when I do a wing liner that's usually what I grab because it is so easy to use and it has a very fine tip so it is very easy to apply it around this area right here so I have really been liking this eyeliner as well also another eyeliner but this is a glittery liner this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Liquid Glitter Liner and this is in the shade volume this has like a pink kind of like pink and orange kind of tint so let me show you guys I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it because it is so glittery but that is what it looks like right there and it looks like this I really like to use this around this area right here sometimes I'll create a little line right here and it just gives it like a little extra pop I have really been liking this one I did use this on my Valentine's look and I really like it so sometimes once in a while I'll add that little line with this one so next I want to talk about an eyeshadow palette I had this for a while but I stopped using it for some reason I actually need to start using my eyeshadow palettes once again because I buy them I use them and then I forget about them because new stuff is coming out but this is the Laura Lee nudie patootie palette and this is what it looks like right here the shades are so pretty so this is what I'm wearing right now on my eyes and I have been using this for my everyday look and I basically only use four shades which is this one this one this one and this one that's basically what I use and I have really been liking it they are so pigmented they blend good they look natural and yes that's what I'm wearing on my eyelids right now and I have really been liking it so this is one of the palettes another palette that I have really been liking and I basically only use one shade I wish it they probably do have these in single this is by ColourPop and it is the yes please palette you're not going to be able to see this because it is extremely yellow and it looks like this and the inside looks like this right here so the only shade that I have really been using is this one right here and it's called GNO and I have really been liking this one because it is kind of like a burnt orangey and I just apply it on the outer V of my eye work it towards my crease and I'm good to go and then I just buff a little bit under my eye this shade is so pretty let me swatch it for you guys so you guys can see the actual shade right here you see it is so natural it goes with everything so I have really been liking this palette just because of that shade and yes once again it is the yes please by Colourpop the other palette that I have is a highlighting palette and you guys have seen me use this a couple of times this is the Anastasia sugar glow kit which looks like this and it looks like this so basically I only use these two shades right here and sometimes I'll use this for my inner part I do have this on I do have this on right now which is right here I use these two and on my inner part I use this one right here so let me just show you guys what they look like so this is what they look like they almost look kind of wet and they feel so good on your skin they look they don't look um, chunky glitter it looks it looks like if it's wet so I have really been enjoying this one and it is um, travel friendly because it's just a little square you have four highlighters here you can use whichever one you want and yeah you have options to use whichever highlight you want but I have really been using these two on the bottom and I really really enjoy this palette and after lips this is the buxom lip gloss it's a mini one because I I don't know where I got this I think I got it like on a trial box or something I don't know but I had it there for a while and I recently just picked it up recently I mean like a month ago and this is what it looks like right here it is just like a pinky nude you're not yeah it's just like a pinky nude and I like this because first of all they do not feel sticky like sticky sticky and they have kind of like minty so my lips feel kind of tingly and it helps with plumbing on my lips so I have really been liking this lip gloss a lot another lipstick that I it's my go-to lipstick that I've been using a lot is the Kylie Cosmetics this is a velvet liquid lipstick and it's in the shade low key it is what I'm wearing right now on my lips I have not stopped wearing this let me just swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like it's this one right here 
and I like it because it is not super matte. My lips don't feel dry at all and it does transfer a little bit when you eat or anything but it'll still last the whole day and I have really been liking it so this is the last lipstick that I have. Next I want to talk about um, brushes. So first of all I have really been enjoying this Beauty Blender puff i think it's what it's called so i like this sometimes i'll grab a little bit of powder and then just um, apply it under here sometimes but what i really been liking this for is to set my when i set my entire face i like to pat this um like this so i can set the um, mist into my skin or if i feel like i'm kind of oily i'll just go with this one and then just pat where i have a little oil and it'll just grab it so i have really been liking this sponge and then another brush that I've been using, this is the Morphe M6 brush, which looks like this. It's just like a flat um, kabuki kind of brush. And this, if you guys know Laura Lee, she talked about this um, a lot. She used to use the Y6 brush, which is like the gold handle, but they discontinued this gold thing. But I know they did create um, basically other brushes in this in this color like in this collection so i have already been liking this one um, you'll see when i upload this video that i have been applying my foundation with this it is so easy to buff foundation especially uh, full coverage foundations if it's a lightweight foundation i wouldn't use this because i would feel like it wouldn't cover as much but with full coverage foundation and matte foundations i have really been liking this one because it blends so easy and it doesn't leave like patchiness or anything so i have really been liking this brush a lot so if you guys have the y6 brush and you want to get another one and you can't find it because they discontinued the gold collection this one is exactly the same thing just different packaging so just so you know and then the last brush that i'm going to show you guys is my highlighting brush this is a morphe m451 which looks like this i used to use the i used to use the morphe m510 which probably everyone uses but ever since i got this one i have really been liking it because i feel like it grabs more product and it's easier and yeah it applies like more product so i have already been liking this brush as well once again this is the morphe m451 and brush. then last but not least i want to talk about these products because they are super amazing and they are the teeny skinny tea and the teeny colon um cleanser tea so let me tell you about this once again i have a coupon code but i'm not saying this just because i have a coupon code i really do enjoy these products so they do come in a bundle if you want to buy them in a bundle. So these two together are $49.99, $50. And they last you for a month. Actually, this one, the skinny, the skinny, the teeny skinny lasts you for longer than a month because I've had this for around three weeks, I want to say. And I still have a lot and I've been taking it every single day. So let me tell you how it works. The teeny skinny tea is supposed to help with your bloating and it also controls like, um, cravings so i have really been enjoying this one i do drink this in the morning so for example let me show you guys because i am drinking it they also sell a teeny tumbler which is this one they have a bunch of colors and they have two sizes this is a smaller one this is a 13.5 ounces so i like this tumbler because it keeps your tea warm for i don't know i want to say like about an hour so i did make this in the morning and i have been drinking it so as you guys can see right here the leaves are already expanded because let me show you if you guys see right here the leaves look kind of crushed so this is how it comes and you only need one teaspoon of this you add it into your tumbler or if you want to use a cup or whatever you add it and then you just let it sit there and later on you drink your tea and I do like this because I do I do see that it did help with my bloating. Even my husband told me that my bloating has gone down. And I also like it, especially because of my cravings. I do crave a lot of like chamoy and tamarindo and all of that. Hot Cheetos with pickle and cheese and oh my god. I do crave a lot of that and since I have been watching what I eat, 
I really like this because it controls my cravings. I do not crave that stuff anymore. Once in a while, I'll crave it. But it's not like... It's not that extreme that I have to like literally go and buy a bag of Hot Cheetos. No. It controls my cravings and I have really been liking this one. And yes, it does work. So let me tell you about this one. This is the... This is the best one. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so this is called the Teeny Colon um, Cleanser Tea. And it comes with 15 tea bags. So, this one you drink it every single day in the morning. And this one you take it every other day at night. So what this does, it cleans everything in your stomach. Like literally cleans everything. Like it wipes everything out. And by that, I mean you poop. I know we're talking about poop uh, right here, but um, it worked for me. I have taken like colon cleanser pills before and I just, it just didn't work. Like I wouldn't go as much as I go with this one. So this one I take it at night. I do take it around 8 or 9 p.m. And it's the same like you fill up this um, tumbler with hot water and then you just place this one and there let it I let it sit for about 30 minutes and then I just drink it but it does taste a little bit not that good but what I have been doing is I just squeeze a little uh, lemon on it and it does change the flavor and it's a little bit more pleasing so I drink this at night and then when I wake up in the morning I usually wake up around 8 a.m. since I've been drinking this tea because it does give you energy as well I, for I forgot to say that so I've been waking up around 8 a.m. And maybe like 15 minutes after I'm up, I need to go to the restroom. So I go to the restroom and it's not like a diarrhea restroom that you need to go. It's like normal, but it's soft and it's not like you have to be there pushing, which I had a problem before because I was, I'm, well, I, I want to say I was because I'm not anymore. I was one of the persons that I would poop maybe like twice a week. And yes, if I was lucky. And I had a lot of poop like stuck in my stomach, my gut, and my colon. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I had a lot of um, poop stuck. So ever since I've been drinking this, I've been pooping every single day. So like I said, you drink this at night every other day. The next morning you wake up, you go to the restroom, and you shit a lot. The first time that I did it, I was like, okay, this is not even going to work on the first day. But no, the first day, I was like, oh my God, where is all this shit coming out of? Like, where was this all? Because it is so much that you're just like, what? Like, how? But yes, I know it's kind of disgusting. So, so you do poop a lot, but it's not like a diarrhea poop. And also, you not only poop one time you poop like well i guess everybody depends but me i when i drink that i poop like at least five times a day and it's not a little it's a lot so um i really been liking this because i feel like it cleans my stomach and it also helps with my bloating and yes i really like this i only have like five bags left so i do need to order another one and once again, I do have a coupon code if you guys want to try it out and save some money. If you don't want to save some money and you don't want to try it out, then don't. So, yes, I have really been liking these two. And once again, they come in a pack or they come separate. But I think you do save money if you buy them on a pack. The tumbler, I think it's pretty expensive. This was $24.99. You don't need to use a tumbler if you don't want to. You can just use any other cup. I like this one because it keeps it hot for a long time and it has a sifter over here on the top so the leaves you won't drink the leaves so that's basically why I like it so yes I think this is it for this video and yeah before you leave please make sure you subscribe to my channel and please turn on that notification bell to get notified when I upload videos every time I upload a video and please give it a thumbs up at the end and please make sure you follow me on my social media and yes this is it for this video and yeah that is pretty much it so thank you so much for watching and until next time I love you guys and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>